Hey beauty babes, welcome to my channel. I'm Maria, aka Agape Love Girl. Thank you so much for joining me today. Today I thought I would share some things that I have been loving lately. Um, this is kind of like a, I don't know, you would call like a monthly favorites or just like a favorites video in general. I don't really do monthly favorites videos, um, so I just thought I would share things that I have been loving lately. Some of these things are newer, um, there are some that are kind of older products, um, but just products that I have been using a lot lately and just been really, really enjoying. Um, and so I thought I would just share with you guys what those things are. And also for the fun of it, I may also put some photos as well as some video footage of me using these products on the screen just so you guys can see them in action. I'll also try to link in the eye any videos where I've incorporated um, these products or maybe done reviews or tutorials or whatever the case may be with these products so you guys can see them more if you have not seen them yet. So anyways, with all that being said, let's go ahead and get into it. So the first two products I'm going to talk about are mascaras. So um, as most of you guys know by now, I do have another job outside of the home and because with my job I have to wear a mask all day I have really uh, not been wearing a lot of face makeup so actually a lot of these products with the exception of like two I think two or three products are pretty much eye products but I kind of think those are the more exciting products anyway so anyways um, the first two I want to talk about are mascaras both of these are actually older mascaras but they are mascaras that I have only just recently tried the first one is the benefit a bad gal bang mascara and I was sent this in um, a one-time PR package from benefit and I've had it for quite a while they said this PR package I don't know it's been months it's been months since they've sent this PR packet but they had sent uh, two mascaras one was the uh, roller lash mascara that I had used previously and I remember really liking it so I had, o had opened that up and used it first and um, didn't try the bad gal bang one until just recently of course um, and it was the first time trying it and I fell in love with this mascara the wand is very very interesting um, it's just kind of like this um, I know it's the flexi tip like I like this kind of rubber um, bristled kind of a mascara wand I prefer that but but it kind of comes to a point it's very spiky I wasn't sure like really what it would do for my mascara for my lashes but oh my goodness this is actually incredible I love that it fully like separates your lashes but it also gives amazing length as well as volume I just felt like I this mascara is like so so good like I thought I really enjoyed the um, roller lash mascara but this one's even better and I know I've heard a few people um, talk about how good this mascara is one person specifically that comes to mind is Annette from Annette's makeup corner I'm pretty sure she talks about that this being her like you know favorite absolute must-have mascara and now that I've tried it I absolutely know what she's talking about it is actually incredible and even though I have several backups of different kind of mascaras in my um, kind of like backups drawer and I don't need to buy any more new mascara I actually did recently purchase another one of these mascaras because I like it so so much so like I said this one was sent to me in PR and I did end up repurchasing a, a new one because I just love it so much I didn't really want to be without it it's so so good so this is something a mascara that I've been loving lately and this is actually pretty much gone this is gonna go in my empties basket and I do have a, a brand new one too <laughs> to use now the next mascara is a drugstore mascara this is one I just purchased a couple weeks ago because I was just really curious I'm pretty sure it's a pretty old mascara but I just I saw it while I was looking around um, in uh, the um, uh, makeup section at Walmart and I was like oh that's really really interesting I think I want to pick it up and that is the L'Oreal telescopic mascara mascara this one has a very very thin wand it's again one of those kind of rubbery flexi wands that I do prefer and I thought it would be a really great mascara for like you know kind of combing and separating the, the lashes and because it's such a small wand I thought it might be really great for the lower lashes and I actually really like it for both the lower and the upper lashes I feel like this kind of in my opinion um, maybe a drugstore dupe of the bad gal bang mascara I feel like it does a really good job um, separating and combing out the lashes it gives really great length as well as some volume too. I think the Bad Gal Bang just just seems I don't know how somehow magical. Um, but this is a very very close. So when I used it, I was like, wow, I'm really really impressed by this mascara. This is a little bit more I think on the expensive side for um, the drugstore mascaras. Like I'm pretty used to um, Maybelline mascaras that I think are I think some. 
some of the best drugstore mascaras and some of the more affordable. I feel like L'Oreal is a little bit more on the pricier side. Um, so I think this one is like about $10 or $9 something, but still really, really good. I've been loving it. This has been the mascara I've been using um, since I got it the past two weeks. This is a really great one. So I was really, really impressed by it and I had to mention it as something I've been loving lately. All right, this next item is probably no surprise because I've been using them a lot lately, especially in a lot of my more recent videos. Um, and I've talked about them, I think in my last empties video, how much I really, really love these. Um, but these are the shadow shields. I just love these so much. I never used to be someone who always had to do a wing liner with my look because I've always struggled so much creating a wing liner or getting them even. It's just really, really hard. I'm not someone who's just naturally good at a wing liner, but these have made me feel really confident doing a wing liner. And now it's kind of my go-to look. I pretty much use these every single day, um, whether I'm doing eyeshadow or not. Um, wing liner has kind of been my staple go-to look every day. Um, and it's because of these. These make it so easy. I use one full shadow shield, cut it in half um, so I can, you know, place them. You guys have seen me do it. You'll see footage on the screen of how I use these. And they just make creating a wing liner so, so quick and easy and just like, what's the word? What am I thinking of? Um, where you don't mess up. Like, they just make it foolproof yeah so I love these so much this is empty I do have more these are just under five dollars at Walmart um, so I just absolutely love using these all right next up is something that I'm actually almost out of too so this will be going in my empties as well but this is the over cosmetics um, eye gel primer um, this stuff is amazing. I never thought I would be someone who is like super impressed by eye primers because I'm someone who doesn't always have to, I feel like for me, I don't always have to use an eye primer. I do use them all the time, especially in a lot of my tutorials just because I have them so I might as well use them but I've gone a lot, lots of times without using eye primers because I have drier eyelids so I don't deal usually um, with any issues of like my eyeshadow is fading or creasing or anything like that anyways. Um, but this is one that actually really, really impressed me. Um, I don't know if it's just because it is like an eye gel type of um, primer or what but I feel like when I use this primer um, it really in I feel like enhances shadows I feel like it really just grips on um, to the eyeshadows you place down and really makes the shadows super vibrant and just very pigmented and just makes my looks look so much prettier and just makes shadows work really really well um, I noticed that like there are some um, sh eyeshadow palettes I'll use with other primers and they look great, they look fine, there's nothing bad about them, but then when I'll use those same palettes with this primer, I'm just like, oh my gosh, like the shadows look even more vibrant. They just look so much, um, yeah, just vibrant and pigmented and beautiful. And so I, I'm pretty sure it's this primer. I'm just very, very impressed with it. It does have a pretty big doe foot wand, so I feel like it's really easy to, uh, you know, put on the eyelid. I mean, you're not squeezing anything out or it's not like a smaller, not like there's a problem with smaller eye, you know, applicators, but I don't know, I just, I like the ease of this, like it's a, such a big doe foot applicator. Um, so it's easy to use. It's a great primer. Really, really love it so much. The only downside is that I ha I have gone through it quite a bit. There's a little bit left in here. I'm going to try to see if I can kind of keep using it and scrape it up, but I'm pretty much almost gone with this. And this is like the quickest I've ever gone through an eyeshadow primer. Um, but it also could be the fact that I have been doing makeup um, pretty much every single day now that I am working outside of the home. So I do my makeup probably six to six, seven days a week. Actually, almost a full day. Yeah. Um, yeah, because there's, I work five days a week, I go to church, and then I'm usually filming on Mondays. So yeah, pretty much seven days a week. Um, so that could be why, but I also think, I don't know, I just have gone through this kind of quickly, so that is a little bit of a downside, but like I said, it could be just because I'm doing makeup more than usual, so I don't know. Anyways, either way, really, really impressive primer. This is something I did receive in PR, and I do think I, uh, I do think I want to purchase it myself. I'm trying to think. The reason why I'm kind of like, hmm, do I need to is because I do have several other eye primers that I probably need to use up, but this one, best I've ever, ever tried. Um, and just saying that because I did get this in PR, there are actually several other Ofra stuff that I'm going to mention in this video um, because I've gotten such a huge uh, package from Ofra, but I've genuinely been loving so many of their <laughs> products, so um, just a heads up. So anyways, amazing eye primer. If you haven't tried this, I totally recommend. All right, and up next is another Ofra product. This is their uh, liquid liner pen. And I'm pretty sure I've talked about in the past that one of my very favorite eyeliner pen is the Ur uh, Urban Decay, what can, I can't talk today, sorry. The Urban Decay Perversion Waterproof Eyeliner Pen. I love this so much for one because it has this brush tip applicator. It's in the pen style, like almost a felt tip style that I prefer, but I don't really care for felt tip 
um, liquid liners because I do find that they kind of dry up a little bit. Well, the Perversion came out with this one that has this like brush tip, so you're getting a lot more um, just pigmentation. The the brush isn't drying up, um, and it's just really easy to use. Anyway, so this had become my favorite until I started trying um, this one. Well, I mean, not that not until. I still really love this one so, so much, but Ofra has one. It's very, very similar. It is in the pin form that I prefer, and it also has that brush tip applicator, so you're not getting the felt tip that dries up, but this one is, I don't know if you can tell, a little bit more, um, I think a little bit longer and a little bit more precise, and um, the Ofra, or the um, Urban Decay one is just a little bit it's like such a slight difference anyways they're about the same um, but this one's a little bit thinner a little bit more precise which I really really like but essentially they are the same thing um, the Ofra one is I think like two dollars cheaper though so if you were looking for a little bit of a dupe or whatever um, I just I really really like this one so I love both of them so so much but this one's new to me I was giving it a shot and I really 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 love it. I've just, this has been my go-to um, liquid liner lately. I just love it so much. I wear it all day because I do my makeup for, for work and so I, I'm wearing it all day and it lasts all day. It doesn't smudge or any transfer or anything like that. Really, really love this so, so much. So yeah, that's another, another Ofra product I've been loving lately. Speaking of Urban Decay, another one of their products that is kind of old school and nothing new and I think is a favorite of a lot of people and you've seen me use these a lot on my channel. Um, but I want to give a mention that as something I've been like especially loving lately because I've been these have been kind of my go-to for just quick sparkle and I just love them so so much so these are the Urban Decay Heavy Metal Glitter Liners I have pretty much all the colors um and on the days that I don't feel like doing much because I wake up pretty early in the morning I wake up about 4 45 in the morning um to make sure I have time to wake up and then get myself ready and I like to have time to do my eye makeup and things like that um and I work a couple towns over so my I work at 7 but I always leave early enough to travel and things like that so anyways I'm doing makeup early in the morning and there's some days where I don't want to do like too much or take too much time on my eye makeup but I still want it to look really good so I'll do like a wing liner real quick and then I'll apply some glitter liner over it really quick and there's just something about the glitter liner that just kind of amps up the look that makes it look like you tried a little bit more it's fun it's sparkly especially when you're only you're wearing a mask all day so all people see is your eyes I like to have a little sparkle a little fun and this just makes it quick and easy I've used these so many times on my channel so you guys already know I, I'm someone who absolutely loves glitter anyways I love the glitter liner but lately I've just these have been my go-to when I just want a quick easy but fun look I love it so a little bit of a uh, um, black wing liner is what I'll do so I'll do the Ofra um, liquid liner and then I'll just top it with one of these glitters especially this one's my favorite just because it is iridescent this is the shade distortion um, and I love how it's iridescent and when you apply it over the uh, black liner you really see some of that iridescent color show and it's just really fun and it just amps up any look um, you know really quickly and simply and I just love them so <laughs> something I've been really loving a lot lately next up is a face product and this is something that I do try to use every single day even though I um, am wearing a mask and I'm not doing a lot of face makeup I'm really not doing any face makeup I do a little concealer under my eyes and I might do a little bit of powder but I always try to put on some SPF and moisturizer and things like that so um, this is something I've been loving lately I did do a video all about um, city beauty products I actually did a little ranking style video of ranking all the city beauty products I, tr I had tried and um, in that video this was something that was new to me that I that I had mentioned um, would probably become a favorite and it truly truly has this is their skin perfecting daily veil it's their sunscreen um, broad spectrum SPF 39 I love it because it comes out with a little bit of a tint to it it's not just stark white so when I put it on I'm not like looking pale or ghostly it's not greasy at all it almost goes on like a, um, a little bit of a primer so I feel like I get a little bit of a blurring effect it has some anti-aging benefits and ingredients to it so it's really good for you and it has your SPF that you need so I just really really love this so much it's been just something I use every single day it's something I use whether I'm wearing face makeup or not and when I am wearing a face makeup this actually works really well I think as a primer and so I just I really really love it 
And as most of you may or may not know, I am affiliated with City Beauty as well, so I do have a discount code with them. I'll leave the discount code in the description box as well as a link to their website. Oh, really quickly, this just, pop this just popped into my head and I figured I'd mention it here. It's not a beauty or makeup item, but I just thought I would mention it really quick because this is something I have been literally not even more than just loving lately. I've been obsessed with lately, and that is Thread Up. Oh my goodness, I've been like on a little bit of a shopping spree with thread up um and i figured i'd just mention that here um i have done several in the past well maybe several three or four maybe in the past thread up haul try on haul videos um and i would love to do a few more of them on my channel here but i've kind of mostly just been doing quicker videos for my instagram account or igtv so if you like thread up or just fashion try on hauls i um, definitely encourage you guys to check out my instagram account and because i've been sharing a few more like fashion hauls there um they're more so just sped up cutesy kind of videos not talk throughs but if you guys are interested in seeing me do any kind of like talk through fashion try on hauls here um my channel let me know I'll try to do those as well because I, I love doing those and I have been making a ton of purchases from thread up I've, I've actually had to slow down um, because I, it's ridiculous I need to go through my closet and do another declutter of my closet which by the way if you like declutter if you like declutters or closet declutters I do have one on my channel if you guys want to check it out it's a little bit older anyways um, I also want to mention thread up is because um, I've kind of really discovered a lot of way uh, like kind of perks to using thread ups and like um, the best way to use thread up and how you can get like freebies and discounts and things like that so if that's a video you guys might be interested in uh, let me know because I'd love to share like some you know ways that I love to use thread up and how you can get discounts and things like that um, so if you're interested in that let me know also i do have a referral link anybody can get a referral link to thread up so um basically i'll leave that in the description box and if you sign up if you haven't signed up for a thread up account yet if you sign up through mine you'll get ten dollars to spend i will also get ten dollars to spend so that's just one way you could kind of um earn some freebies through thread up so anyways i wanted to share that and i also want to shout out my instagram account um because i have some thread up hauls there if you guys want to check them out Moving on to the beauty items here. So the next thing I have on my list are the NBA Cosmetics um, Aqua Liners. These are so much fun, you guys, and I've created a few different looks and that I, I don't think I've done any in video. No, I don't. Huh? Oh, I have used them once on video in my um, uh, Raw Beauty raw beauty christie i can't think today and pure cosmetics um makeup look i used one of them there but i have been using these as well quite often to create just some fun liner looks so they have three different sets the pastel one i have not actually used any of the pastels yet i need to but you can buy them in sets and i think they're also available individually if i'm remembering correctly but i buy the set so you could have all the colors um this one is the uh neon set and i've used these quite a bit i've created like a rainbow look they're just so so much fun they're really vibrant they're very easy to use they are these little um like pots i'll take them out and show you in a minute this is their basic b collection this is the newest one this one actually has a white liner and a black as well so um i've used these a couple times too so so pretty anyways they come in this pot and they're basically like these this dry um liner you can use water um because they're aqua liners so you could use water i like to sometimes use the um, nba cosmetics glitter foil and line effects serum just to really make sure they're going to stay all day and last all day um, but I've, I've worn them all day with water as well and they work just fine but anyways i've been loving these so much just because they're such fun different colors and um, they're really affordable and i'm also affiliated with nba cosmetics so i believe my code is agape love and that saves you 10% on their website. So if you're interested in anything from India Cosmetics, um, like glitter liners or just anything else, you could use that um, discount. But these are so much fun. I especially love the neon ones. So, so beautiful. But I've been loving those lately. Like I said, again, probably going to repeat myself a lot, but um, I'm wearing a mask all day. All you see is my eyes. So I really like doing fun stuff and being creative with my eyes since that's really all people are seeing all day. Um, and it just brings me joy since I can't. I love like doing my face makeup. Like, so I miss doing that, but wearing a mask all day with face makeup just, it's just not, it's just not fun. It's not a go. Um, so I take a lot of time on my eyes a lot, um, most days, um, and do something fun with my eyes. And so I've just been loving so many of these products that just make my eye makeup so much fun and also quick and easy as well. So anyways, lots of eye products, like I said. <laughs> Ooh, I'm so so excited about this next product to mention. This is fairly new to me, new-ish to me, I would say. I don't know. It's been I it's been a couple weeks. Anyways, the, a new-ish product, but still an instant 
instant hit for me. Um, and these are the Kiss Lash Glue Liners. So I initially bought the um, black one to try, um, and then I ended up purchasing the clear one to try as well because I liked it so much. I just was really skeptical. I wasn't sure how well it would work, um, but I ended up falling in love with this instantly. So this is exactly what it says. It's a lash glue liner. Instead of having an actual lash glue um, that's messy and takes a, oh, some time to dry and things like that, it is a lash glue in an eyeliner pen form. It makes applying your lashes so, so quick and easy. And it's amazing. This is actually the liner that I have on today. That's what I use today. Um, and I did actually film this. I meant to say this earlier. I filmed this eye look, um, but not for a YouTube tutorial because I don't know, I feel like people are just bored of tutorials from me at least here on YouTube. So I did film it. It'll be up on my IGTV, um, but I've used this on my channel as well. I used it in my um, Urban Decay Stoned Vibes palette um, first impressions video and kind of shared a first impressions of this. I love it so much, um, and like I said, I was skeptical at first if it would really work. Um, it does say that you have to use it, or it recommends using it over um, like clean eyelids, not over makeup, but I do use it over makeup and it still works, so that was one thing I was skeptical over. I'm like, I was like, I, oh, I usually always wear eyeshadow when I'm wearing false lashes, so it seems weird that I couldn't, but I tried it anyways. It works just fine over um, um, eyeshadow and it makes it so easy you can create a wing liner it doesn't say sticky or anything like that it dries down but it it does you know stick and hold your false lashes so it just I love it so so much such a genius invention um so oh I totally recommend if you're someone who struggles with applying false lashes if you're someone who struggles with using lash glue this is just so easy and works so well. If you like doing a wing liner, you can use it as a wing liner as well as for your um, lashes. Um, but if you're someone who doesn't want the black and you don't do a wing liner, they also have the clear, which I have used before as well when I did a really simple look. So at my work, we do these um, fun dress up days, just kind of boost morale and just make it more fun at work. Um, and so anyways, one of the dress up days we had was dress like a kid day. So I wore my hair in pigtails. I'll put the pictures on the screen. Um, and I um, put freckles on my face and like dressed like a kid, but I also wanted to wear lashes because most kids like they really have such beautiful lashes and they, you know, anyway, so I just did very, very basic makeup. I didn't do any eyeshadow or anything on my lid. Um, and I just put on false lashes so I could have beautiful, you know, long lashes like most kids do. Um, and I used the clear one for that. And it worked amazing just as good as the the black one I love it so much it's so so easy Ugh, I just can't rave about this enough so they have a clear one it's white it does show up white so you could kind of like see where you apply it but it does dry down clear so then you don't see it it's ugh, this is a wonderful invention I I love it so much all right and on the topic of the kiss products um this is something else and by the way i think i said but i purchased those myself then i also purchased these and these were actually the lashes that i wore that day that i dressed up like a kid and these are actually the lashes i'm wearing today um i did purchase another um style of lashes from kiss and i like them okay but this one i really really like so anyways i want to mention it it's the kiss lash couture um Lux Stensions collection and it's the style royal silk um, and these are just beautiful. I feel like they truly do give the, the, um, look of almost lash extensions. Like I had a few, the day, like I said, that I dressed up like a kid, I only wore, um, those lashes, no eyeshadow or anything else. Um, several people asked me if I had lash extensions and, and I was like, no, these are falsies that I stuck on because they just look so very natural. This style specifically, Royal Silk has the clear band and I think that really helps um, with that kind of um, lash extension look. So they just look even more natural. I mean, not that lash extensions look natural, but Sometimes I feel like when you're wearing lash extensions, they're a little bit more natural looking than the strip lashes. I'm not sure. Anyways, point being is that they just stuck really well to my, to my, you know, lash line. They kind of wear a little bit more naturally. They're very, very luxe and dramatic, but still in a natural way, if that makes sense. And so anyways, I just kind of really fell in love with this style. They're very affordable and beautiful. And I feel like it gives such a luxe look. They're very, very lightweight as well. Like I said, I wore them that day as I dressed as a kid all day and they, you know, weren't heavy or anything. They just felt really nice. And it's just a really beautiful style. I think, um, there are two or maybe three other of in this, like, kind of um uh collection from kiss but they had the um the black band this is the only one that i saw that had the clear band and that's the one i really really wanted um and i think because of that uh that's what gives it a more of a natural like really to your lash line look um as opposed to the other style i buy i can't remember what they're called they're in my drawer um but they, they have the black band and this one i just like so much 
more. When you can find a, um, a false lashes with a clear band, I feel like that helps. I feel like that just makes them, um, I don't know, one, look more natural, feel more natural, and just like, I don't know, adhere to your kind of lash line so much better. Maybe that's just me, but anyways, really like it, the style Royal Silk. Next up, I have some face products again. These are um, something that was sent to me in PR. It just randomly showed up on my doorstep. I'd never heard of this brand before, um, and I wasn't reached out to, so I'm not quite sure um, you know, how it was sent to me. I'm sure they're possibly connected to another um, brand that I get PR from. That's kind of how that happens sometimes. Anyways, um, the brand is called Dr. Zenovia, and I was sent um, two um, full-size products and then one kind of sample product, and these were products that are supposed to help um, with uh, hormonal acne I'm pretty sure um, and I thought that was kind of the perfect time for these to show up because I was actually I have been dealing with very very horrible um, uh, mask mask knee shall you say I mean I already deal with kind of hor hormonal acne that is like I get it a lot along my jawline pretty bad um, but also it was just getting so much worse because of wearing the mask all day it was just worse it was like the worst I've, I've really had acne in a long long time along my jawline my chin up around even my mouth and then especially around my nose like my face was just looking so so um, bad because of wearing the mask all day and just I think the condensation of this the breathing and just like you know, you start sweating. I don't know what it, whatever it is about wearing a mask all day, but my face was just looking <laughs> just so broken out and, um, I was gonna say horrible, but I hate saying that about, like, acne doesn't make you look horrible, but just, like, anyways, it was really, really bad with acne. And so, um, when these showed up, I was like, this is really interesting. I'm gonna give these a shot. So, I think I got them about two weeks ago, and I used them for about a week and a half, and the improvement in just that short time is kind of it's kind of crazy. Um, I am so so impressed. So, anyways, let me show you them real quick. I will just say that I did stop using it this um, past um, a few days because I noticed that um, my skin was sitting super super dry, and I'm pretty sure it's because of these products. So I stopped using them for a little bit. Um, really wanted to kind of take give uh, my skin a break and really moisturize my face, um, and then I'll start using them again. So I think I me just need to make sure when I'm using these, I need to really really be moisturizing my face because they did dry me out but oh my gosh did they clear up my acne like I mean my skin is just looking just flawless pretty much anyway so let me show you so they sent over this essentials of vitamin c brightening toner um and it says it tackles uh tone and texture while unclogging pores so this is a clinical grade of formula for even toned radiant skin an antioxidant an antioxidant rich toner designed to replenish hydrate and condition the skin while even evening tone clinical grade vitamin c and e brighten skin and calm redness while uh, micronutrient sea salt neutralizes impurities and to restore the skin's radiance I it's a big packaging I don't know how much these cost I'll have to put the information in the description box but this is a really really big um, package so it's four fluid ounces one thing I love is the packaging like it's this pump so you pump out the product onto I use like a cotton um, like square and it pumps out so nicely as opposed to other um, toners that like you have to like squeeze out or something anyways I don't know I just like the packaging so much that it's like it pumps right out onto the your cotton pad and then I also had gotten this this is their uh, clear complexion 5% benzoyl peroxide acne spot treatment um, to reduce acne flare-ups and redness so I think kind of this might be the thing that 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 really um, dried out my skin but um, it's it's pretty amazing it has a nice little pump in here too let me just the texture is a little bit thicker. I use it at night. I don't use it in the daytime. I'm not even sure if that's what it says. Use blend a thin area to affected area. Use it once a day and increase it two or three times as needed. Yeah, I only use it at night because it is kind of thick the way it goes on. And I don't imagine this playing very well un under makeup or whatever. So, anyways, I just had was using this you know in the evening every night. Um, and this this stuff like it really helped clear up my skin. It's it's pretty amazing. I was really, really impressed by it, but like I said, it did dry out my skin quite a bit. And then the other product they sent, um, I have in a little baggie because I'm, I don't know if this is like a, maybe more of a one-time use, but I've used it twice and I know there's more product in here because a little bit kind of went a long way. And so I want, I think I'll have at least one more or two more uses out of it, but this is their um, Clear Complexion Advanced Retinol Night Repair Treatment. This is supposed to visibly uh, diminish the 
appearance of acne and scarring. Um, and it says this medical grade, highly concentrated, all trans retinol treatment deeply penetrates the skin through a unique micropolymer delivery system to support cell repair and turnover, working synergistically with a powerful antioxidant complex to help protect skin's barrier. The appearance of acne, acne scars, texture, and tone is visibly improved. And so, um, like I said, I only use this twice out of the week and a half that I um, use other products. So. I'm not quite sure, you know, if, if it was mainly this or just some of the other stuff. But anyways, all together using those just for like a week and a half, my skin looks amazing but did dry out. But I wanted to shout that out because I was so impressed by how much it cleared up the acne that I was dealing with and how smooth and lovely my skin looks. So um, big thank you to the Dr. Zenobia for sending these products over. It was a little bit of a surprise to me, but I figured I'd give them a shot. It was the perfect time for them to be sent to me and I have been loving them so far. All right, moving on, uh, I have some palettes I wanna talk about today. Um, and the first one is the Ofra uh, Sweet Dreams palette. This is actually the palette that I have on my eyes today. Ofra did send me over several of of their palettes. I have, um, I think, three others um, that are in this little format, and I've tried them all. They're all really lovely, but this has been the one I've been gravitating towards the very most because it does have these beautiful kind of mauve um, burgundy tones that I love so, so much and I think are so complementary um, to my eyes, which are hazel but do lean green, especially when I wear tones like this. Um, the, you know, the red in them really complements the green and brings out the green in my eyes, and when I wear these tones, and especially this palette, I I'm constantly getting compliments on my eyes and how beautiful they are and just you know people saying wow you have beautiful green eyes and that's something I've always wanted with green eyes like true green eyes so when I wear colors like this and it brings out the green in my eyes it just makes me so so happy so this has been kind of a go-to palette for me when I just want a quick and simple look it's just the five shades so it's just a very simple palette but it, you can create really beautiful looks just very quickly very easily a lot of times I'll just throw this like kind of all over the crease and, and lid um, and then kind of deepen it up with this darker shade all over the lid and just keep it really really simple um, sometimes I'll use this one all over the lid right now I have it on the inner corner of my eyes and I also did use it for my highlight today super super beautiful all the shades are super pigmented even these ones that are lighter like this one even super super pigmented you um, you know I filmed this look today like I mentioned and you'll be able to see once that video is up um, just how pigmented even this shade is they're just beautiful I love this tone again it's the sweet dreams palette very very beautiful this has been just like a one one I've been loving lately because of the color tones. Um, it's probably going to be the perfect kind of palette right now for as we're going into fall. Like these tones are always really popular. I think in the fall, I mean all year long, I think, but especially for the fall, this is like a perfect palette for the fall but I've been loving it so so much lately it's just kind of my go-to when I just want something quick and easy I don't really have to think too much about it um but I really want my eyes to like pop and look really beautiful like so I've been loving that palette so so much um okay another um palette is the Pure and Raw Beauty Christie palette. Now, I do think that like today, well, today as I'm filming this, they're having a restock, um, but by the time this video goes up, that restock will be done. So hopefully those of you guys who missed out on getting this palette, um, you were able to get it because this palette is absolutely amazing. This is the um, Pure and Raw Beauty Christie palette. This palette, I love it. Um, along with the Ofra Sweet Dreams palette, this has been a go-to palette. Pretty much, I, I'm pretty much swapping between those two, these two palettes every single day for my eye looks because it just makes creating look so, so easy. You can see, like, hopefully you can see just how used up this palette is already. It's just, I love how Christy created um, this neutral side. This has been the side I've been using the most. I have used the, the colorful side a couple times, but mostly um, this is what I'm using. I love how she did it where you've got the cool tones and you've got the warm tones and you've got these center ones that kind of just work with all of them it just they're so pigmented so so blendable so easy to use and I just find myself reaching for this palette constantly because it's just so easy to use so beautiful and then the colorful side is just as is easy to use and just as beautiful so I love you kind of have everything all in one in this palette it's so so beautiful I kind of really wish it wasn't limited edition like it needs to stay in stock everybody who wants this should have it it's just it's perfect I love it so so much so this has been something I've been loving lately so these two specifically like I have one more palette to mention that I really really like but these two specifically have just been like non-stop just keep going back to both of these 
constantly. Just they make it so quick and easy when I'm getting ready. And like I said, I get ready super early in the morning. Um, I don't always have a ton of time. I try to take my time because I want to still look really nice and presentable. Um, but sometimes I just want to do something quick and easy. I don't have to think about I just know these shadows work. I know they're going to look good on my eyes. And those two palettes like have been perfect for me the last few months since I've had them. Okay, and then the last palette I want to talk about is newer to me. I did do my first impressions video on it, um, and I want to do a little update here because I have really been enjoying this palette so, so much, and that is the Urban Decay Stoned Vibes palette. The packaging, stunning. Um, and I, I'm bummed because I haven't really been taking pictures of my looks using this palette, but you can just see from the palette, hopefully, like I have been using this quite a bit. So this one is so, so much fun. Um, I've talked about in the past how like these type of shadows are like marble ones are typically not my favorite because they look so so beautiful in the pan but then when you go to put, put them on your eyes they're just not as pretty or they're very dry and just not good quality the quality of these is so so beautiful they're very very creamy they actually show up very metallic and stunning on the eyes they look beautiful in the pan, but they also look just as beautiful on the eyes. It's not something that's just like, you know, just for show, just for the look of the pan. They're beautiful. They're very creamy. Also, the formula of this is very different in my opinion for Urban Decay. I mentioned in my first impressions video that these marble shades actually really remind me of the ColourPop Super Shock shadows in texture. They're just very soft, very bouncy, kind of like this whip texture, and it's just really, really beautiful and creamy and just leaves this um, like beautiful show. Oh, drop and stuff this beautiful shiny metallic look there are several duochrome shades in here i'm pretty sure pretty much this whole bottom row is duochrome and then like this one up here is duochrome so they're very unique beautiful shadows that i really like but not only are these very creamy but the mattes the four mattes that are included in this palette are very very creamy too which again i think is very different for Urban decay i feel like i'd like urban decay's palettes some of them have been a miss for me but um for the most part, I like a lot of their palettes, but one thing I always say is that Urban Decay shadows are definitely more on the drier side um, of formula. They're much more harder pressed and sometimes can be a little bit more difficult to work with. Not this palette. This palette is super, super creamy, super, super blendable, super, super pigmented, just very, very easy to work with and just so, so beautiful with these like marbled shades. They're just stunning. I love the formula of this and I just have been having so much fun creating looks with this palette. All of these colors are absolutely stunning. I really, really love this. So this is another palette that I've been really, really loving lately. Yes, it's new to me, so I feel like um, it's obviously going to be something I'm going to, you know, play with because I like to play with the new things. But regardless, like, if it wasn't good, I, I wouldn't be reaching for it. And it's been one that I've continued to want to keep reaching for and really, really love it. So anyways, I want to show it some more love here on my channel um, uh, as a little bit of an update to my first impressions that I was really impressed with this. Still am very impressed with it. And so I, it's just something I've been really, really enjoying and loving lately. So anyways, with that, that wraps it up for this loving lately video all the products that i have really been using pretty much daily really been loving and um also with that just like that have really um you know worked well for me now that i'm you know actually out of the home working um six to eight hours a day like i feel like i could really put these products to the test and see how they wear throughout the day and they wear really wonderfully and beautifully and work just really really well so been very impressed with all these products really been loving them some of them are older some of them are newer but all of them deserve a little shout out here on my channel so i really hope you guys enjoyed um this video hearing about these products that I have been loving lately. I'd love to know your thoughts and opinions on these products that I mentioned. Have you tried them? What is your experience on them? And if you haven't tried them but have been curious about them, I hope that you found this video helpful. I would also love to know what products you have been loving lately, whether it's an old favorite that you've rediscovered or an old product that someone else talked about but you are just now trying. Whatever the case is, I would love to know what you have been loving lately. So definitely leave a comment sharing the things that you are loving lately. But with all that being said, I just want to thank you all so so much for watching and until next time much love and hugs to you bye beauty babes Mwah.